before Carthage, before Rome, before Hannibal Barker even, Iberia was populated by people of ancient tribes. Hi, I'm Jay Glenbauer, author of the Sons of Iberia series, and I'm about to release a new title. It's a prequel to the series, and before I did that, I thought I'd just share a little of the background history. So in 237 BC, Hamilcar Barker of Carthage, a famous general from the First Punic War against Rome, invaded southern Iberia using his veteran Libyan and Numidian uh, mercenaries to spearhead the invasion. The opposition were the Turdetani people, and Hamilcar really had his sights set on the huge silver deposits and rich silver mines in the north, in the mountains of the Sierra Marina. As he went and uh, conquered clans, he would uh, levy the warriors into his army, so it was growing all the time, despite the fact that many of these warriors were unwilling. Uh, a Turdetani chieftain gathered support from other Iberian tribes. By the the Turdetani chieftain's name was Istalatius. He was, however, defeated fairly easily by Hamilcar, who had a vastly more experienced army. And then Indortus of the Turdetani uh, raised 50,000 spears to challenge Hamilcar with. Again, his army was entirely mismatched. His warriors folded and fled before Hamilcar Barker's much more veteran and experienced army, uh, which included war elephants. So within two years, Turdetania was subdued. The best of the Turdetani warriors were either dead or fighting as unwilling levies within Hamilcar's army. Um, and the Turdetani weren't going to be the only tribe uh, that uh, would feel the weight of the, the conqueror's heel on their necks. Uh, the Turduli, a smaller tribe to the west, was also subdued, as were the western Bastatani and the southern Oratani people. So from 235 to 231 BC, Hamilcar expanded his uh, dominance east. Brave and resolute, the, the Iberians obviously hotly contested the, the expansion. Uh, grudges between clans and tribes were put aside as they allied with, the, with each other to, to face and fight this new deadly invader. Um, Hamilcar's forces were blunt instruments of destruction. And they even antagonized the Bastatani uh, people who were of a fairly peace-loving tribe into to raising their spears against Hamilcar. So Rise of the Spears is set in the year 228 BC when Hamilcar Barker uh, leads his forces northwest deep into the hearts of the into the heart of the Oritani people. Um, this would be the, the great Carthaginian generals. Uh, last campaign for the father of Hannibal, Hannibal Barker uh, would perish that autumn. Uh, various sources say, uh, say different things about how he, he, he was killed, uh, but the consensus seems to be that he was either slain or drowned in a battle or skirmish. Uh, and they're not even sure with which tribe that skirmish took place. The main character in Rise of the Spears is a young warrior of the Bastatani people, and his name is Dabgetius. Uh, he is one of those unwilling levies forced to fight in Hamilcar Barker's army. Uh, the story is a prequel to the Sons of Iberia series, which covers the Second Punic War bet fought between Carthage and Rome. And uh, Dabgetius actually features in the third title in the series, Gladius Winter. So Rise of the Spears will be uh, available at the end of August. Uh, on Amazon as a Kindle ebook or paperback format and um, the, the title will also actually be in contention for Amazon's Storyteller UK 2018 award. Uh, so as always happy reading and uh, I look forward to your reviews. Thank you.